guys I've got a quick video for you today um, I thought I'd just turn the camera on because I'm making some of these little um, some shabby sheet paper clips um, they're very basic ones um, but I thought I'd show you anyway because I've only got a few so I've got to make lots of them so I'm just going to show you how I've, I've made them I've used some little images here which I believe the majority of them are just free images um, and some of them are off the graphics fairy so I will pop a link to her uh, website um, down below she's got some absolutely beautiful images on there um, and they're free to use um, so that's what I did I just used Google Docs and I've just made them all quite small so they're on, on there so you get quite a lot on, on one sheet and I've just cut some up and they're beautiful little shabby chic images um, and what else did we use? We used some um, chipboard which I this one I've actually brought it's quite thick here let me just see if I can measure it second it's probably I don't know, it's about a millimeter and a half thick so it's a good it's a, it's a good thickness so it's not very bendy at all um, and it's ideal for these because you need them quite quite sturdy to pop on there and I've just actually added a, a little paper clip to the back um, I didn't want to make anything too fancy I just wanted something um, quite simple um, but quite effective on here and I've added the word love on this one which I think is, looks really pretty um, so I've made a couple here so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how I did it so this is an image that I cut out and I've actually stuck one of my word um, printouts on there um, I'll just show you here look I'm trying to sort them all out um, so I've got some in here I've actually bought these plastic envelopes here the little ones with a little clip on here a little popper um, I'm trying to sort everything out so I know where everything is and I can actually see what's inside and I've also bought a couple of these these big ones as well um, this is just the off cuts of my tea stain paper um, which are quite handy sizes to use so I'm trying to get a little bit more organized um, right so what I did I cut out a square of, of the chipboard and um, the same size as the little um, little tag bit so I'm going to pop that on top but what I didn't like about doing it I didn't like to see the edge here because I do believe it will actually start curling up on this bit so I need to cover the edge and on here and when I printed these off I actually printed them too close to each other so I can't actually wrap it around the sides so the only other thing that I could do was actually stick this to a piece of paper another piece of tea stained paper and then wrap it round so instead of wasting the images um, I'm going to just stick this down like this with a little with my glue stick but again use whatever glue that you like to use um, but I do like my glue stick so I'm going to stick that down make sure you've got every little bit and then we just pop that into the middle like so oh it's a bit sticky make sure it's all stuck down properly the glue is off so it's nice it just rubs off really really well it makes it all neat and tidy so there we go it's just stuck onto an extra bit now we've just pop this behind try and sort of like eye it up so we're on the edges Oops. top and bottom make sure we're right the right way round okay and then what I need to do is glue this I'm going to glue this down with some um, fabric tack I have got lots of little bottles I've got like four of these bottles on the go all upside down um, in jars because I'm trying to use them all up I've got lots of little bits and pieces in each one um, that one will come out let's have my fresh one there we go so I've got so many of them around I just want to use make sure they've all been used up 
I'm going to stick that down just so to make sure we stuck down properly so that can go in there like so let's level it up it's a nice thing about the, the um three and one you've got time to maneuver it around so let's stick that down like that let's pop the lid back on stuck down nicely oops I always ink the edges. Let me go. Move it around. It's probably not the easiest way. It's the easiest way is to print them off with a bit of extra around the edges. So what I'm going to do now is just make it a little bit smaller. Chop the corners off. Daisy. doesn't matter too much about the back because we're going to cover that up anyway with a piece of card because we need to put the um, paper clip on so there we go so that gives you a better edge then you don't see don't know whether you can see but you've got the actual paper edge and on this one you've got the um, cardboard edge and if it gets damp or anything like that this will start coming apart um, on here so that's done what I'm going to do is just edge it a little bit with some ink just so it looks nice nice and shabby on here and vintage so that looks really nice on there look and then to give it a glossy top here these are all glossy can you see I hope you can see that I've actually got some diamond glaze so I'm going to use some diamond glaze on this one you can um, use other things that you've got um, to make it but I do like diamond glaze I think it does it's really really good so all I do I've got my little pin ready here so you try not to get any bubbles on it but I'll tell you what it's impossible to get no bubbles on here in this you give it a nice big puddle in the middle don't ever shake it if you've got diamond glaze don't ever shake it because it will get full of bubbles and then you'll never ever get rid of them um, because I have made that mistake before so just push it all the way to the edges you can actually use two layers of this and it gives you a really really nice thick um, coating it's almost like a resin top then um, which looks really nice but you don't really need to because you don't want it too heavy to go if you're going to pop them in your journals because it will sort of like bend your your pages so I just push it all the way around to the edges like so it takes a little while I normally sort of like if I'm going to use the diamond glaze I will use it in the evenings and then by the morning it's all dry and nice so and then you're not tempted I'm not tempted to, to start fiddling with them and then um, you get fingerprint marks and all sorts on them so just a little pin and you want to pop the bubbles if you leave it a little bit leave it for like five minutes and then come back it's actually easier to pop the bubbles on it when it's first come out so if you see a few you can pop them afterwards but that's come out pretty well I won't tip it up to show you because it will start running but I'm going to pop that over to the side so the next stage so once you've done that and it's all dry this one obviously I didn't put the backing bit on the, the edges but I'm going to show you how to do this one I've got a piece of card here and what I did, I just cut around it like this. So 
so it's the same size as that. I'm going to just ink up the back a little bit, like so. And then, look, I've even organised all my little bits in here. So I've got my bulb pins in here, paper clips, and some bigger paper clips. So I'm trying to get organised, so I've got everything there. I'll quickly show you here, look, I've actually, this, I've dyed this in some beetroot. So I did this, I had two lovely big um, reels of seam binding arrive today. So I've used some of it to actually dye with the beetroot, so it's, I'm really excited to use that. So where were we? Let's stick this on there. So I'm going to pop that onto here. Make sure we've got it up the right way. So that's this way. I'm going to pop some 3-in-1 on here. Like so, make sure you've got the edges and make sure this is stuck down properly so it doesn't move. Pop this on top. Squash it down. Just going to leave it for a second. Fill it down. So then you can just hold it down. So the longest bit to wait is actually to wait for the diamond glaze to to harden. So like I said, you can just do the do make them up and then do them overnight. Um, leave them overnight, I mean, to dry, and in the morning you'll have um, nice little little tiles that you can do all sorts with. But I thought I just wanted to make some lovely little clips here. Um, so I think they're really pretty and these will be going on my next pocket pack um, which are really really nice so there we go guys it's just a very quick one um, I know a lot of you do make paper clips um, yourself but I thought I'd just video this while I'm actually making them um, to show you what I was doing okay guys so don't forget go to the graphics fairy I'll pop a, I'll pop a link tomorrow uh, tomorrow I'll pop a link underneath um, the video and um please take a look she's got some beautiful images so there we go guys i hope you give it a go um and i will see you in my next video thank you take care bye bye mm -hmm.